Mr. President, I extend my warmest congratulations to you, Mr. Ambassador Alessandro Cortez, Permanent Representative of Italy on behalf of the Kingdom of Morocco on your election as President of the 66th Session of the IAEA General Conference. Mr. President, the 66th Session of the General Conference is taking place in a particular international security context, marked by the growing need for the optimal use of nuclear applications for peaceful purposes and the major concern to guarantee international standards of nuclear and radiological security and safety. This is an important moment for all member states to renew their political commitment to the safe and secure use of nuclear technology applications within the framework of the vision of the founders of the IAEA, so well summarized by the phrase, atoms for peace and development. Morocco takes this opportunity to reiterate its full support to the efforts made by the agency, particularly the technical cooperation program, the TCP. Morocco, which chaired the 64th session of the IAEA General Conference two years ago, has worked to introduce the importance of the use of nuclear applications and the development of radiotherapy in the fight against cancer. We need to strengthen the synergy, the dynamics, the complementarity between all actors in the fight against cancer, particularly in Africa. This is why Morocco actively supports the Rays of Hope initiative launched in Addis Abeba by the Director General of the IAA on the sidelines of the 35th African Union Summit with a view to guaranteeing cancer care for all and to alleviate the lack of radiotherapy in developing countries, especially in Africa. And I'm pleased that during that, the Director General visit to Morocco in June 2022, an MOU was signed between the Moroccan Ministry of Health and Social Protection and the IAEA. And this agreement, which established new areas of cooperation between the IAEA and Morocco, will further strengthen cooperation in the fight in Africa against cancer and zoonoses such as COVID-19, Zika or Ebola. Similarly, this MOU will allow within the framework of the IAEA's Rays of Hope initiative, the strengthening of Morocco's contribution to establish regional centers to address the lack of cancer care in Africa where more than 70% of the population does not have access to radiotherapy, an essential tool, tool for the cure of cancer. So, Mr. President, Morocco has developed, thanks to the support of the IAEA, a domestic expertise in the fields of health, nuclear medicine, nutrition, water, agriculture, industry, environment, energy, education and training, and also safety and security, as well as nuclear safeguards in general in the promotion for, of the peaceful use of applications and technologies in a safe, secure and sustainable manner. The Kneston ensures each year the training of about 100 professionals, the organization of scientific and technical events, and the deployment of expertise missions or laboratory analysis. The Knesset has launched with the University Hassan I of Settat and the University Mohammed V of Rabat, an academic and clinical master in medical physics and a master in radiopharmaceutical sciences, which has seen this year the graduation of the second class of laureates from French-speaking Africa. To date, almost 300 professionals have benefited from this important training and hold positions of responsibility, particularly in the regulatory bodies of the respective countries, reinforcing respect and compliance with the agency's safety standards and the establishment of appropriate national legal frameworks. On the regulatory level, the Forum of Nuclear Regulatory Bodies in Africa, whose chairmanship has been held since 2019 by AMSNUR, the Moroccan Agency for Nuclear and Radiological Safety and Security, has worked to strengthen the role of African nuclear reactors in the field of nuclear security and safety. And in this regard, AMSNUR has provided training of 2,000 trainees 40% from African countries and 10% from other regions. AMSNUR will host in October 2022 the meeting of the IAEA Steering Committee on Capacity Building and Knowledge Management in Nuclear Safety and Security. The purpose of this meeting is to prepare for the Steering Committee meeting 
scheduled for December 2022 in Vienna, which will be devoted to finalizing the draft 2330 strategic approach for developing the building blocks of capacity, human resources programs, training, education, and knowledge management, and of course, partnership networks. Mr. President, in this dynamic of bilateral and triangular partnership with the IAEA, Morocco welcomes the double recognition of CNESTEN in 2021 as the first IAEA collaborating center on the African continent for the use of nuclear techniques in the fields of water resources management, environmental protection, and industrial applications for the period between 2021 and 25, and the designation of the Moroccan Agency of, for Nuclear and Radiological Safety and Security, AMSNUR, as the first African collaborating center for capacity building in nuclear security. And Mr. President, 2.6 billion people today suffer from zoonotic diseases each year, causing 2.7 million deaths. So the Kingdom of Morocco welcomes the significant progress made since the implementation of the Zodiac Initiative, the Zoonotic Disease Integrated Action Project, adopted by consensus by resolution under the presidency of Morocco at the 64th session of the General Conference of the IAEA. This initiative aims to strengthen national and regional capacities for diagnosis, detection and establishment of a coordinated response team led by the agency for zoonosis. My country, which has supported morally and financially the establishment of the Zodiac project and the Rays of Hope initiatives, appeals to member states to continue to support the agency's structuring actions, such as, such as the renewal project, renovation of the nuclear applications laboratories, to provide the IAEA with the necessary capacity to meet national needs, contribution to the achievement of sustainable development objectives. Morocco, which has also contributed to the renewal project, reiterate its support for the renovation of the Sebesdorf nuclear science application laboratories, essential for strengthening the training and developing countries in nuclear science and applications. And on nuclear energy, Morocco welcomes and expresses its support for the Nuclear Harmonization and Standardization Initiative, the NHSI, launched in April 2022 by the IAA Director General to facilitate the safe and secure deployment of SMRs in order to maximize their contribution to the achievement of the Objectives of 2030 Agenda and the Paris Agreement, including carbon neutrality. Mr. President, Morocco will work to resolutely pursue its commitment to support the central role of the IAEA in the technical assistance that it provides to member states, as well as on the triangular cooperation knowing that Africa and the action in service of the African continent remains a strategic priority for Morocco in accordance with the high guidelines of His Majesty the King in favor of the development of a solidarity and active South-South and triangular cooperation. Mr. President, thank you very much for your kind attention and I wish you every success to the work of our General Conference. Thank you.